Hello, it's Ricardo, and I'm playing Elite Dangerous. And in particular, what I'm doing is I'm traversing the galaxy at the moment. I was going to go 5,000 light years to get Professor Palin. What's actually happened is, is I'm going a bit further than that because I'm really enjoying what I'm seeing. So I'm going to use the, the Neutron Highway and a couple of applications which I'm going to explain to you in a minute. The first one is called Spanch, and the other one's called EDSM.net. Now these tools can help you supercharge your frameshift drive by giving you a good route and plotting for the neutron stars to increase your jump range in, in my ASP to 150 light years. So, right, so let's get into it and I'll show you those apps now. Okay, so the first tool I want to talk about, and they can both be run in a browser. I happen to be using Chrome, but you know, IE works just as well, is edsm.net now edsm.net gives you a picture or an overview of the galaxy and then from that galactic map you can add layers for example like deep space outposts now I'm currently around here Omega mining operation Select that outpost. And you get a bit of blurb, a little pop-up screen that will tell you exactly where it is, which you can select. Copy. Um, and you get a little bit of information as well, which is great. Other layers include, <clears throat> so points of interest, historical locations, beacons, restricted sectors. Also, major features, your star clusters, nebula, and regional features. So, you know, the Three Kings, Stellar Forge, Starburst, Halo Stars, and the like. In addition to that, it also gives you the black holes. Giza, organic features. So, by selecting one of these, again you get a little picture, a little bit of information from them telling you exactly where they are. Now, like I mentioned, I'm on my way to Omega Mining Operation. I am in the middle of the two, really. I'm about, I'm about by here at the moment. Now, a quick way of getting from A to B is by using neutron stars. Okay, now you would have seen the neutron stars, big, bright, white, blue, glowing things with tendrils coming off in flutes either side. Now, these stars also form a highway called the neutron highway. And you can use the old neutron highway by the next app I'm going to show you, which is called Spanch. I hope it's called Spanch, anyway, that's what I'm calling it. S-P-A-N-S-H. Quite simple now. Put your destination system in, so we cut and paste that from the last application. Jump range, like what, 37 light years. The source, so we'll type in our current location, P-R-Y, P-Y-R-A-M, uh, O-E, IU dash B C2 dash 15. Auto completes for you. Click submit. Lovely little, I like that graphic. And then it gives you a route. Now you can cut and paste this into Word or just follow it on screen. So it shows you the system here on the left hand side. And you can tick off when you've com completed it or not, or copy it to clipboard. Where you are, that's our home system. How many light years remaining to your destination? If it's a neutron star or not, and you see the next one, 
D111 is and how many jumps it'll take you to get there. So I can't subvert it by using a neutron star. 96 light years, 37 jump range approximately. It'll take me three jumps. But what I, once I'm there, I can supercharge the FSD and I'll show you to do that in a bit uh, in the next section and then do a 144 light year jump to the next system where there's another neutron star and then a few more jumps and I'm there. So a great little tool used in conjunction with this EDSM, the Elite Dangerous Star Map and then the Elite Dangerous Neutron Router. So two great applications. I'll put them in the comments just in case you haven't got it. Oh, I've got trouble with my accent. Um, and then I now I'm going to show you how to supercharge your frame shift drive with a neutron star. So that's the application side of things. Then let's hop into the game. So here we have a neutron star and I've scanned it, get that cartographic data. I'm gonna fly into the flute of the star. I'm calling him a flute, okay? Could be a tail, whatever you wanna call it. Gonna fly in, your ship's gonna be buffeted around a bit, so be prepared for this. And you'll get a frame shift drive warning, it's beyond safety limits. And then what you'll do is you'll get, you are, this, it says it's supercharged, excellent. So once it's been supercharged, you can now go to the galactic map. Type in your destination. And some of these galaxy names could be quite long. There it is. It is a hundred and one light years away. Go back. We can see we've got a large jump range, but 150, something like that. Our frame shift driver's mail function. I've done quite a few of these jumps on this particular run, and it's down to about 75%. Frame shift online, we can see we've got 145 jump range of a maximum 150 odd. Great, we've supercharged it. We're gonna do the jump, and we're gonna traverse that 100 light years in one jump, whereas normally it would have taken us at least three three and a bit jumps and that's the first way of doing it there's a slightly quicker i think more efficient way of doing this um, in regards to plotting your route and we'll come to that in just a moment so we're jumping and we get into this next system the next system as well happens to have a neutron star in it Now, if it doesn't have a neutron star, then you have to do a few normal jumps, as I'm saying, um, to get to the next neutron star. So it might be three or four jumps, depending on your jump range. So we've scanned it. We're going to target it. We're going to get that cartographic data. That goes without saying. Now, we're going to go to the system map and make sure no one's claimed it. Now, somebody has, because obviously it's in the neutron highway. People have been using this for quite some time. It's just me happens to be late to the party. And once we've done that system map, we're going to pop into the galaxy map before we go anywhere near this star, all right? Um, and we're going to put in our destination first. That way then, once we're supercharged, we can put our foot down, we can get out of the way, and we can jump. So here we go, typing in our destination. Slightly bigger jump this time. The last jump was about 101 light years. This is about 140 light years out. Well within our remit. Oh, 127 light years. Okay, Mac, that's our destination. Back. And then we're going to fly in into the tail or the flute of the star, as we did the last time. Okay, so in we go. You don't want to overshoot it. So here we go, FSD mail functioned. Okay, great. Let's kick this up the flute. Let's refine it. 
to a frame shift online. Here's the star again. Let's get in that. So we've got our destination already. We buffed it around. We're now supercharged. Foot down, let's get out of the way. Line up our destination. Frame shifts online. Mail functioned. Keep impressing J all the time. And we're going, we're spooling. Brilliant. So yeah, the frame shift drive, 75%. That's gonna need some, some sort of overhaul when we get to our destination. And we're jumping. And that's it. So in two jumps, using the Neutron Highway and the two tools, Spanch and EDSM.net. So those tools, I think, really helped us out. Um, in just two jumps, we've traversed about 222, 223 light years. So not too shabby. And depending on your jump range of a ship, you could probably do even more. So I've been Ricardo, and this has been Elite Dangerous. This has been the Neutron Highway and how to supercharge your frame shift drive to get you to where you want to go quicker. Hopefully a bit more easier and exciting. I quite enjoyed doing it this way. A little bit of logic behind it. Anyway, look out for more videos in this series of my voyages out in the black. See you soon.